Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton video channel. My name is Peter Waters and my ham radio call, call sign is Golf 3 Oscar Juliet Victor. Today we're going to discuss a new antenna from the Comet Corporation uh, in Japan. It's known as the Comet HFJ350M. Quite a mouthful. And it's also been nicknamed the Toy Box. I'm not sure whether it's a mistranslation, whether they meant to say it's the toolbox or indeed the toy box, but it says on the label, toy box, so toy box it will be. And believe it or not, in this packet, this small wallet here, is an antenna which covers all bands from 6 metres through to 160 metres. Yes, 160 metres. You can put this in your pocket. So, let's see what this is all about. It's the HFJ350M. That coil is for 160 meters. Then this coil is the 80 meter resonator. And this is the basic coil that covers all bands from six meters up to 40 meters. And to top the antenna off, you've got this telescopic whip which extends to around about one meter. Band changing on the lower coil is achieved by a shortened connector, you see there. So let's now see how it all slots together. This is the bottom coil covering 40 through to six meters. Then on top of that, I'm screwing the optional 80 meter section, which increases the coverage to 80 meters. And then there's one more coil, which is the longest coil. And that is the 160 meter coil. So when that's on top, all three sections together resonate on 160 meters. And then finally, of course, you've got the resonator whip, which is approximately one meter long. And that is used to um, resonate the aerial and to do some fine adjustments. So we have an antenna that covers 10 bands, 160 through to 6 metres. There's no mention of 5 megahertz, so I think it probably doesn't cover that band. The basic concept is a base loaded whip from 10 through to 40 metres with additional add-on course for 160. The whip on top is 1 metre long, so the antenna complete is about 1.2 metres without the add-on coils and the connection at the base is a PL259 which means it'll fit a lot of uh, different uh, connectors. As it happens we stock something called an RC105 which is an SO239 connector designed to bolt onto the IC705. So I decided to attach that to the uh, 705 and it's a convenient way of converting that BNC into an SO239 and making a platform for this uh, Comet antenna. And here you can see I've put the Comet antenna onto the uh, base and it makes quite a uh, neat uh, package. When using the antenna in this way it's essential you add some radials. I did four or five radials and you will have to adjust those radials to make sure that you get them the right length because the radials are part of the antenna system so you do need an antenna analyzer really just to Make sure you know where you are in the uh, in the band. Another option is to mount this antenna onto a mag mount, and then to put it onto your car, which would be uh, another option and another way of uh, using it. So I'll put it on a mag mount on my motorhome just to see whether it resonated and it resonated okay. And I was ready to go on the air 
with my IC705. Now, of course, reality has to kick in with these small antennas. For example, uh, on 10 metres, this antenna would be a bit under half the size of a 10 metre quarter wave. On 20 metres, it will be a fifth the size of a quarter wave. On 40 metres, it will be a tenth of the size. On 80 metres, it will be a twentieth of the size. And good gracious me, on 160 metres, it will be a fortieth the size of a full size quarter wave. So as I said, reality does have to kick in. So I suspect really those two LF coils are more likely to be used for listening rather than transmitting because it is physically very short on 80 and 160 meters. But the ability to listen around on 160 meters and 80 meters when you're on holiday, for example, is interesting. And who knows, you might find a local station that you can work. But primarily, I think this antenna will be used for the higher bands, 40 meters, uh, 30 meters, 20 meters, 17 meters, etc., etc. The interesting thing about this antenna, of course, is that it is literally pocket size. I mean, once it's put back into its plastic wallet, then the whole thing would fit into your pocket. An antenna that fits in your pocket, yet has the ability to transmit and receive on all bands from 10 metres to 160 metres or 6 metres and 4 metres if you just put the, uh, put the whip in. Quite incredible. I should say, of course, that as the whip has got a 3 8 inch thread, you can't connect it directly into the... Um, uh, SO239 mount, you've got to go through the uh, 40 meter to 10 meter loading coil and just um, uh, short it out with that uh, short in uh, lead that they give you. It's an interesting antenna and as I say it does enable you to get on all the ham radio bands uh, on the HF um, bands at least uh, apart from 5 megahertz and uh, there we are that's the Comet uh, HF, I've forgotten it already, the Comet HFJ350M for you. It's available now and uh, something to play around with, I suppose. <laughs> Don't forget to press the subscribe button. That lets you know when new videos are coming up and it also indicates to us that we're doing the right thing. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video is about. Um, I try to vary them a bit and it really depends on what I'm sent um, by Portsmouth and uh, what uh, they suggest I talk about and of course you <laughs> what you suggest I talk about so the combination of Portsmouth and the viewers is what drives this channel in the meantime enjoy your ham radio take care keep safe speak soon oh just remembered haven't done the end music bit for the end of this video um, <laughs> let me see if I can put something together pretty quickly. Mm -hmm.